Let's get back to the Democratic National Convention now. It is well underway in Chicago. We're expecting to hear from Joe Biden a little later. And there are a lot of warm-up acts. Kamala Harris expected to make an appearance soon there as well. Let's go live now to former White House Chief of Staff and now Bondi Partners consultant Mick Mulvaney. We saw Joe, saw Joe Hockey a little earlier this morning. He's looking pretty comfortable there at the uh, DNC uh, convention there in Chicago. This is a big week for the Democrats. We've already seen a lot of protests outside, some um, you know pulling down those fences. It is all about optics, for want of a better term, for the rest of the country. So what do the Democrats need to do this week. Uh, it's good to hear that Joe is there. He and I were in Milwaukee together. He got stuck there for three or four days because <laughs> of the computer shutdown. So I hope he does better getting out of Chicago. Um, look, what the Democrats need to do, and they know this, is to be calm and to be unified and to be positive. They can't have these protests interrupting things. They can't have these protests leading the news. The early reports, and there are still early reports, LJ, is that the number of protesters is uh, dramatically smaller than expected. There were some reports mm. that maybe 100,000 of them would, would descend on Chicago this week. That doesn't seem to have happened yet, but again, it's just the first night. But the Democrats are trying to show unity and momentum. Um, they don't want any fights on their hands. They don't want any distractions on their hands. This is going to be a, a positive sort of love fest for all things Democratic Party. Yeah, it certainly will be. And the momentum is the key issue here. So, I mean, I think we all know Donald Trump really well by now. There are a lot of question marks about uh, Kamala Harris. She hasn't given any press interviews. She really hasn't been pressure tested, as we like to call it here in the media. She's going to have to do that soon, won't she? Maybe. I think they learned a lesson last week. Uh, they released some details of their economic plan, which include what they call a uh, federal uh, ban on price gouging. Uh, but when you looked at the details, it did not take very long, even for many left-leaning economists and political pundits to point out it was essentially price fixing, price setting by the government, essentially the government telling uh, private entities, private corporations what they could charge for their products. That's a pretty, you don't get much more left-leaning than that. That's, that's verging yeah. on socialism and communism. And I think the Democrats learned their lesson. They won't be putting out many more details. You're right, though, she will have to do some more uh, exposure media-wise. She's agreed to two debates. Keep in mind, she's never mm -hmm. debated at this level before. She's done one debate when she was running for vice president, but she's never done a presidential debate. Donald Trump has already done six um, mm. So she'll be spending a lot more time, I think, prepping for that. I think the first one is um, uh, early part of September. Yeah, and let's not forget that these debates are so important. Things can turn on a dime uh, there, and we saw that. I mean, the, the last debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, that was le that's what led to Joe Biden's demise and him pulling out of the race. It was. I don't expect anything that dramatic. But then again, we didn't expect anything that dramatic in the first place. But yes, in this compressed time that we have in our elections, and I know you folks are very used to short elections, you know, five, six, eight weeks, whatever it is uh, in Australia. Here, it's two years. Um, and But we don't have that this, this, this time around. We effectively have a 90-day race. I think there's 78 or 80 days left until actual mm -hmm. election day itself. So it's a very compressed timeline. That will make things like the debates even more dramatically impactful on the outcome of this election. So, um, mm. look, there'll be some Democrat, um, uh, you know, uh, positive attention in the media this week. It always is during a convention. Then we have our Labor Day holiday, the end of the summer bank holiday weekend, and then we get into the heavy-duty campaigning in September, yeah. and the debates are right there.